hello guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a diy project on a mirror this is just a regular mirror that i purchased from lowe's i actually used this mirror in my wedding um i've already started taking some of the letters off um it was put on with the cricut vinyl so i'm just showing you how i'm going to transform this mirror that i already had into a mirror for a baby shower so it is missing a few flowers off but that's okay because we purchased more from the dollar tree and i'm going to be creating um a mirror for this baby shower so in order to take this off it's not necessary but i am using it for this project we're going to be using some rubbing alcohol at least 70 percent guys in order to take off the stickiness so what i do is just take a little bit of it and pour it onto the letters after i pour it onto the letters i'm just going to take it and work it in all around the letters and after i've worked it into all of the letters um it doesn't have to be worked in really good but as long as you kind of saturate all the letters with the alcohol you should be fine i'm also taking a exacto knife that i got from the dollar tree as well i'm just going to be taking this exacto knife and kind of slightly going up under here in order to grab the letter and then once i do that it'll easily come off so as you can see that first piece came off and i'm going to do the second piece right here and I'm just going to keep doing this until I get them all off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these off. And then I'll come back when the mirror is. Once I remove everything, I'll go ahead and wipe the mirror down really good with, with a paper towel. And then I'll come back and show you guys how we're going to remake this mirror. So stay okay, tuned. Okay, guys. So this is what the actual mirror looks like after it has been cleaned, as you can see. You cannot detect any of the residue that was on the mirror. So you can't detect any of that. So right now, what I'm gonna do now is hook up my hot glue gun and I'm gonna start filling in these holes um, where I don't have any flowers and I'll add some additional flowers to it. Um, I also purchased some of these from the Dollar Tree. These are just some regular white, um, hydrangeas that I purchased to go in and then I also purchased some hyacinths um, and these kind of um, are similar to the hydrangeas as well so I'm going to put some of these in here because our colors are white pink and like a off white um, almost a cream yellow so it actually goes well because some of these flowers has a little bit of hint of that cream um, off-white color and a hint of the pink in it so I'm just going to take these and add these to it as well as I purchased some of these um, pacifiers from the Dollar Tree as well and it comes with four in a pack so this is what it looks like it comes four in a pack says it's a girl and these are baby shower favors so i wanted to get creative i'm actually going to place these around um the actual mirror and like in some of the flowers and you'll see and i'll come back um after i'm going to glue just a couple more flowers to fill this in once i do that i'll come back and show you actually how it they're already here as you can see i did the same thing with the hydrangeas and i'll just basically gather them together like so and then i'll place them right here to be glued onto the mirror same thing with the pink ones i'll just find a spot to put them glue them down like so and i'm going to go around the whole entire mirror adding some of these um to each side just to give it more of a pop of color um because this pink is brighter and this is the pink that they're actually looking for the client is looking for so i'm just gonna glue them in and have that pink come in um into it like so and then once I do that, I'm going to take the Dollar Tree favors that I got and I'm gonna go ahead and glue them and put them into place. I'm gonna glue them on different spots of the mirror like this, 
just different um, angles and it'll they will sit on there like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all the holes, add these and come back and I'll show you how to add the lettering onto the actual mirror.